Welcome back, everyone. This week is Domestic Violence Awareness Week of Action, and violence prevention advocates are partnering with law enforcement to help victims find the assistance they need to move forward. News 10 ABC's Juliana Bruno shows us how. This cell phone could be the lifeline that saves a domestic abuse victim who may have been cut off from the outside world by their abuser. One in four women and one in nine men become victims of domestic violence in their lifetime. Those numbers are staggering. Statistics like these are why retired Stillwater Police Chief Ray Cardani has kept the cell phone program going since 2003. With the help of local businesses as drop-off sites, the police department collects donated phones to be turned over to advocacy groups that give the phones to victims of abuse. It's not just an issue of abusers cutting off the landline. According to experts like Amanda Anderson, director of Fulton County's Domestic Violence Program, an abuser will often use the phone as a way to track, stalk, harass the victim, even weaponizing ownership of the phone plan. They may utilize that as a tool of power and control over them of if you don't do this, I'll shut your phone off and you won't be able to reach out to anybody. You won't be able to contact anyone. Anderson and the team at the Family Counseling Center of Fulton County are using this week to bring extra awareness to the signs that you or someone you know is in an abusive relationship, including what's become known as love bombing, where an abuser uses excessive affection and attention to make the recipient feel dependent. When the things start happening, the picking on you, the telling you you're not worthy, the telling you you do things wrong and you can't live without them. When those things start happening, you go, oh, but my partner was so wonderful. We just are going through a rough patch. We have to get back to that. And that's really where people get caught in the cycle. If you or someone you know is experiencing domestic abuse, help is available. Resources are on our website, news10.com. Reporting in the Capital Region, Juliana Bruno, News 10, ABC.